What's going on everyone? My name is Will. You really don't care what my name is. And today I'm reacting to a new death battle fight between Boba Fett from Star Wars versus Predator from, well, Predator. So yeah, this is Boba's third death battle fight. He has been losing in the last two fights against Samus. So I guess technically count as one because they kind of did a remake for that. Regardless, he's going up against the Predator and honestly, I'm looking forward to this fight. This fight is a dream fight that I'm sure a lot of people have been looking forward to seeing. And uh, yeah, I'm very curious to see how this fight's going to go and hopefully Boba will get the win. So let's get started. I don't aim from this. It's owned by Death Bow, which is owned by Rooster Teeth. So let's check this video out and see who's going to win. All right, here we go. Ooh, okay. It's not Pixel. They're coming back with the clean animation. I like it. Better found his target. Aw, oh, they're not hanging upside down. Skinned. Boo. Oh. Oh, that helmet's gonna come in handy. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Alright, come on, Boa. Need a win. Badly. Oh, shit. He's in the rocket already? Seriously? <laughs> what is up with him and his jetpack always getting damaged like that? Alright, let's see if that's gonna help. Oh, damn! That, that cut right through the armor. That's not enough, dude. That is one turbo predator. Ooh. Well, that armor really does help. Somewhat. Well. Shit. Oh, that's not good. Not good for Boba. Ooh, damn. That was good, but nope. Now he can see me. Oh. Okay. Alright, come on, Boba. <laughs> One arm, dude. I wonder if that's enough. Wait. Oh. Can't see. Oh, he's using the. That's awesome. Oh. Are you gonna kill? Is it... Is it... <laughs> of course he survived! <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. KO! Man, Boba was always a one-man army, even as a one-armed man! Despite the Predator's fearsome power and experience, Fett's versatility and arsenal allowed him to survive this hunt. While Boba could crumple steel, the Predator could easily tear straight through it, yep. making him the stronger of the two. But while the Predator could dodge laser beams, Fett could match Force users with near lightspeed reactions, mm -hmm. making them similar in speed. However, the major difference was durability. While the Predators are definitely tough, Fett's Beskar armor covers more of his body, yeah. and would easily resist almost all of a Predator's arsenal. Like the plasma caster, usually hot enough to blast a hole through anything. But you know what else is made of plasma? Lightsabers, which bounce up Beskar, no problem. 
Specialized tools like the plasma scythe with its ability to bypass conventional matter that is an awesome managed weapon. to kill Fett with a few lucky hits. However, Fett's jetpack and long-range arsenal allowed him to fight safely from a distance. And Fett's kit countered a lot of what Predator could do. His helmet's infrared could see past Fred's camouflage. His flamethrower messed with Fred's thermal vision. And nothing the Predator had could withstand a lightsaber strike. Pretty also, much. the Predator's EMP could not disable Fett's armor. Considering Beskar has withstood bolts of electromagnetic energy before without short circuiting that's not to say the predator was totally outmatched he had a lot of similar gear and a peak predator would have had centuries of combat experience backing him up yeah way more than boba however fett was generally trickier predators fight with a code of honor and rarely mm, if ever yeah. employ dirty tactics while fett isn't totally without honor he still employs dirty tactics to win fair fights and was more likely to outfox the pred given the chance of course, none of that would have mattered had the Predator taken them both out with his nuclear suicide bomb. Five. At its epicenter, it would have been more than powerful enough to fry Fett. At its epicenter. The further away you are from the center of a blast, the less energy you're getting hit with. By our calculations, Boba only needed to get about 50 meters away before the energy he was tanking was only about as much as your average thermal detonator. Okay. Which the Beskar can survive. And given the countdown lasts 40 seconds, there was more than enough time, especially with a jetpack. Hell, Arnie escaped the same attack just by sprinting. <laughs> but perhaps the most important difference is the scope of their prey. The Xenomorphs are definitely deadly, but they're not quite as dangerous as a master force user who can read minds and throw starships around like they're made of paper. Fett was definitely prepared for anything the Predator could throw at him, even space magic. The Predator was as deadly and skilled as they come, but Fett's cunning, arsenal, and impenetrable armor gave him the win. Congrats to Boba! Give him a hand! Oh wait, he's already got one. The winner is Boba Fett. Finally! Ooh, okay. Hey. All right, so that's the fight, and I'm so happy Boba won. I really am. I mean, Boba's been losing in the last two fights. I didn't want there to be a third one. I honestly thought that because the Predator has centuries of experience that he would get the win. But, yeah, they, they explained it right there. He doesn't have that many arsenal that would be able to penetrate through the Beskar armor. And that armor could go up against a lightsaber. And still survive and not even get cut through. So that was, that was very good for Boba to have that. Uh, and yeah, to have that lightsaber when he needed it against the Predator was a good thing. I liked how this fight went. The animation for this was done well. I love the voice actor they got for Boba. And yeah, I'm looking forward to the next fight as well. And hopefully it'll be a lot of fun. So that's pretty much it, guys. you have a different opinion about this fight or what you think of, you know... Boba finally getting a win, and who you think he should go up against next? Leave some comments below. Let me know what you think. Hit the subscribe button, check out my Facebook page, my Twitter page, check out T3 Media's channel, subscribe to their channel, get to the date with videos. Check out Rooster Teeth and Death Battle's channel, subscribe to their channels, keep up to date with their videos, and I'll see you next time to give you more love and more entertainment. Until then, take care, stay safe, love y'all, and goodbye.